well as the best player of the game, Jabba Tagilar. Jabba, sabi sa kami Coach Shard, before the start of the game, wala daw kayong sense of urgency. Um, at uh, yun daw yung naging kulang. How challenging is it to adjust to something na intangible at hindi mo naman araw-araw pinagractice? Uh, yeah, we have a really bad start, slow start. Um, and uh, Enlex came out uh, really uh, scorching, red hot. Um, and then, um, to be honest with you, uh, I thought we were going to get blown, blown, <laughs> blown out by 20 points, and we were never going to come back. And uh, um, I'm happy that uh, we, find, we found a way, and uh, we got the win. You were down by as much as 19 points. Trinabaho na yan, all the way to the fourth. You got your first lead with six minutes left. Paano nagbago yung flow ng game as soon as you got that lead? Um, we talked about it in the bench. Um, just, uh, um, just one uh, possession at a time. Um, as long as we uh, do the right things, uh, make, the, make some stops and execute on offense. So, and one one possession at a time. Coach, how important is it to get back on a winning column, uh, to prepare for the game against San Miguel on Friday, as well as getting the team prepared, especially knowing that you'll be flying out at the end of the month? <laughs> um, yeah, well, we can talk about the flying out at another time. This is about the game. Um, you know, I, I just let, let me just say that first of all, I just thought we did a really good job of staying in the game and battling. I can take this off, right? Um, staying in the game and battling uh, gave us a chance. Uh, we all struggled in that. I struggled mentally in that first game, uh, first half, trying to figure out what we could do. Um, we made some pretty, uh, you know, uh, yeah. huge adjustments that we don't usually make to, to into that second half and ran some stuff that. We really don't even practice. So uh, the guys did a great job of, of turning themselves around mentally and, uh, and again, just staying in the game until they could get a little run going, a little momentum, and, and, and the momentum just caught with the crowd. It just kind of carried us all the way to the end. Um, it's a big win because obviously, you know, you're going up against a, a, a super strong San Miguel team. You don't want to go in there on a two game losing streak, beating, trying to beat them, trying to get your your health back. Uh, um, so, you know, because you're not going to get healthy against San Miguel. You're going to probably be pummeled even some more. So it was important for us to have that opportunity to play San Miguel, coming off a win and feeling confident rather than feeling down. So that was that was absolutely crucial, crucial win for us. At this point, we're opening the floor for our friends from the press. Yeah, our, our, poor Arvin. I'm on him harder than anybody, right? I, I get on Arvin harder than anybody because, uh, um, you know, you see a guy that just has just oodles and oodles of potential. He can shoot it. He can put the ball on the floor. He can drive. He's got great size, great length. And uh, so his, the expectations for him are so high. And we just keep trying to ring him and try to get more of those expectations and uh, uh, more of that potential realized. So... Again, tonight was, you know, he's, he's taking steps. And every time he has a good night, he's building confidence on what he's doing. Um, we know he can shoot. We know he can score. What we're looking for from him is the effort parts of the game, getting the rebound, defending. And I thought he did a really good job. He matched up with big guys in the second half. And he did a really good job of jumping out on screens and, and, and you know, battling the big guys at the rebound. And those are the things that we're really excited about when we watch Arvin play. Uh, the three-point shots, the other stuff, that's, that's, that's just common for him. That's easy. The hard stuff is the one we really want him to do. So kudos to uh, Arvin tonight. He played a, an excellent second half. And uh, um, uh, I was real, real proud of him, especially the effort side. He's, uh, you know, he's, he's doing their daily therapy. Um, it's a hamstring, it's a grade one. Uh, the only problem with hamstrings is that, you know, they're so 
common to restrain them. You, you start to think it's healthy, and then you go out and play, and then boom, it happens again, then it happens worse. So that's what we're trying to prevent. We don't want him to get back too early and then uh, restrain it in a, in, a, in a worse manner. So we're being careful with it. Um, like we always do with all of our veterans, we try to be careful with our veterans on that team. Uh, the rookies, we just kick them, say, get back out there. But the veterans were a little bit nicer too. Uh, so, um, but we're gonna make sure he's 100% before he gets back on the floor. So he could be out, um, unless he responds really well to treatment tomorrow, he'll, I would think he'd be back out probably for San Miguel, maybe back by the con Converge game next week. In past years, you mentioned about your team not, still not in the Christian tournament that you wanted. Do you think your team is now right there, or is your team still? No, we still. Have, well, you know, I think you know, as, as we talk about, as Jappers knows, we you know, we talk about being right at the right time a, a lot in our team. You know, we're, you know, we know that it's a it's a long conference uh, in terms of the eliminations, and we're coming off a, a, a championship which we had to really expend an incredible amount of energy. So we know that there's, there's uh, in the beginning of the conference, there's going to be a little bit of a slowdown for us. And, uh, um, you know, we, we just can't keep that push all the time. Otherwise, we'll wear our guys out. We're going to get a lot of injuries. So, you know, we try to kind of play the conference, I don't have to say it, like in a cadence, you know. And the cadence will quicken as we get closer to the middle of the conference and to the end and into the playoffs. So uh, uh, are we where we need to be right now? No, but we don't really expect to be, but we wanna, you know, we hope that we can come out and play a better game against San Miguel than we did tonight. And we think that we do every time we do, because uh, we have a better understanding of what we're doing. Poor Jap is sitting here. You ask Jap and we let him get out of here. You're gonna get sick sitting here in the air con. First of all, I'm happy for Coach. Um, <clears throat> but he's happy that I'll be gone, that I don't yell at him anymore. He'll have finally peace in his life for at least four games. That's why he's happy. And, you know, uh, good luck out there, Coach. Uh, <laughs> But um, we really have to uh, focus um, um, this uh, uh, job need to be done. Uh, and um, yeah. you know, we respect uh, uh, Coach Richard as much as we respect uh, Coach Kim. So, yeah. I would say more so. <laughs> as I've said in the past, whenever a player has a problem or wants to talk about something, they look at me and they go straight to Richard. So yeah, they have great respect and, and uh, belief in, in Richard. So I don't think that we will miss a beat. Honestly, truly, from the bottom of my heart, I don't think we'll miss a beat with me gone. In fact, I think the players may relax a little bit, uh, not be so tight, and they'll be able to go out there and, and, and play really good basketball uh, for Richard. And I know that they'll do it for Richard. Can we ask about Jimmy on the week? I don't know if you can let him go. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, yeah. Jack. Thank you. Thank you guys, thank you coach.